Hello, we're looking at a specimen of a liver where this is the cut surface and I'm going to turn this around. What we're looking at here is the capsular surface. So let's zoom in a little bit and uh, you can appreciate here that there are many cysts within the liver. Some of these are right up against the capsular surface. Let's turn this back around. And this is an example of polycystic liver disease. So what we see grossly are many thin-walled unilocular cysts. These are not connected with the biliary tree and they are scattered all throughout the liver parenchyma. These cysts can vary a lot in number, but in this particular instance, we can still see that there's quite a bit of a normal appearing hepatic parenchyma in between the cysts. Polycystic liver disease is very often associated with adult type polycystic kidney disease because of the same genetic mutation and by itself polycystic liver disease does not generally cause too many clinical problems. In other words, usually the liver function is well maintained. Um, the patients may complain of some vague abdominal discomfort or tenderness and one of the complications potentially is infection. The risk of malignancy is actually low unless there is another associated condition, for example, Carolee's disease, in which there are actually multiple cystic dilatations of the intrahepatic bile ducts. In Carolee's disease, there is an increased risk of adenocarcinoma. It is important to look at these patients as a whole because in the background of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, one must also be aware that there are other very clinically significant conditions that the patient is at risk of, for example, berry aneurysms in the cranial cavity, and also other solid organs may show cysts similar to the liver, and these would include the pancreas, the spleen, and the lung as well. So just to summarize, this is a case of polycystic liver disease. It is characterized by many unilocular thin-walled translucent cysts scattered throughout the liver parenchyma and these are not connected to the biliary tree. And this condition is very often associated with adult type autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease.